Hello my fellas. I'm going back to my previous style of commentary video for this video, which is sit and complain about something that annoys me. If you've been around since even before I had 100 subscribers about a year ago, I made a video about TikTok Live, but I took it down because I didn't really like it and I didn't really go into depth about each live I was talking about. Like the video was like five minutes long. To be fair, I'm probably not gonna go super into depth on these because my brain is like completely fried. Anyway, TikTok Live has turned into a cesspool. It's not fun anymore. It's not for shits and giggles. I like to giggle. I like to shiggle. It's not fun anymore. It's turned into people begging for money. And by the way, you can beg for money on any platform, but I feel like TikTok is the lamest platform to beg for money on. There's one specific person who's at the forefront of this right now, and he doesn't need an introduction, but I'm gonna give him one anyway. Jason Nash. Do you guys remember Twitch beggars? What do you want from me, chat? What can I need to possibly do to make sure that this stream doesn't die because I can't afford to keep it going anymore? We gotta get to 500 subs. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have- you have ten dollars. I don't believe that half of my fucking viewership is all suffering from crippling financial issues while also having hours upon hours every single day of- of time that they can spend watching Twitch. Broke people should never laugh! TikTok live beggars are the new Twitch beggars and Jason Nash is one of these people. Jason Nash is 50 years old and to pay his bills, he is choosing to get on TikTok live for hours a day and beg people to send him gifts. It's as hilarious as it is pathetic. If you don't know Jason Nash, he's a friend of David Dobrik, who is an asshole. And after David got called out for being an asshole in 2020, he stopped vlogging and that led Jason to lose a form of income. No one really cared or rather cares about Jason if he's not with David. So the views on his main channel are like pretty low for the amount of subscribers he has. Since Jason's not making a whole lot of money from YouTube, he switched to both Snapchat and TikTok Live for money. It should be illegal the amount of times Jason posts on Snapchat in a day. The day that I screen recorded this, mind you it says two hours ago at the top. The day that I screen recorded this and I counted, he posted 79 times in two hours 79 times in two hours apart from posting on snapchat hundreds of times a day he's on tiktok live every single day without fail let's go Ryan that's matt mastro that was no way she can't hear me <laughs> It's crazy that to pay his bills, he's on TikTok every single day begging people for money. He is an online panhandler. Again, Jason's at the forefront of this trend, but he's not the only person. He's also not the only person from the vlog squad doing this. Susie and Nick or Jonah are both guilty of this. Oh my god, we lost. Okay, go, rematch, and then I gotta go. Okay. It's sad, but like... Come on, dude. Eugenia Cooney is also guilty of this behavior. Ollie, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. that. Thank you. I would never do this shit. I don't care how hard it gets. That's why I'm getting a degree and I'm going to college. And it's crazy because Jason actually has a degree from a university. He went to the University of Massachusetts, Massachusetts Amherst. He just doesn't want to work a real job. It's hard to feel bad for these people because they kind of put themselves in this position. They're privileged to have a platform and be able to do nothing but ask people for money on TikTok and then receive that money. So you know what? It's not sad. I don't feel bad for these people. It's pathetic. And if you're wondering how much money these people make from the lives, I did some math, unfortunately. I am incapable of holding all this information in at one time, so I will be reading off of my computer. In order to send gifts on TikTok, you have to buy coins, and coins on TikTok range from $1.29 for 100 coins to $134.99 for 10,000 coins. The cheapest gifts you can send cost one coin, which converted to USD would be a cent, and the most expensive gifts you can send are 44,999 coins, which converted to USD is $562.48. TikTok pays creators with diamonds, which you can later convert to USD. 
A diamond is worth half the value of the coin, so if you send a gift that's worth 500 coins, the creator will be rewarded with 500 diamonds. But again, the diamonds are worth half the value of the coins. So if I send a gift that is 500 coins, or $6.95 USD to purchase, the creator will be rewarded with 500 diamonds, or $2.50. Now that I'm explaining this, it sounds like a scam and a ripoff. I will not provide another example um, to explain this because I can't if you are curious about how much people make and like the diamond to coin to whatever conversion or whatever i'll link a video in the description M moving on to our next topic i'm sorry that took so long npc lives if you've never seen these you're lucky and you're also not chronically online so i'll briefly explain them to you NPC lives are lives in which the host acts like an NPC or non-player character, and when you send a gift, there's a specific reaction to each gift that is sent. Here's an example, because clearly I can't explain- Yum! Yeehaw! A lot of gifts for you. Hee-haw, yes! You gotta feel like a cowgirl, let me run it, huh? Danny, money gun, I got your name. Wow, you feel it, feeling hard, feeling love you, huh? I am sick and tired of seeing these lives. Sick and tired. I don't understand how these are still relevant. They're boring. Except for the Miles dude whenever he breaks character and then this guy that I found on TikTok. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, my roses that smell amazing but ain't no roses in the hood aside from that they're incredibly boring and i know it's fetish content and that's why they're still getting views <sighs> to get into the fetish part of this and boom demonetized to explain the fetish side of this i did some research like a loser and there was actually a forbes article written about this so clearly these tiktok npcs aren't doing anything inherently sexual because that'll get them banned but some of their robotic repetitive move move oh my god movements can easily be seen that way their behavior also feeds into the category of people with coercion kinks <laughs> like you're you're giving this person money to perform for you I want to move on. Tarot readers. We already know how I feel about these people. I have a whole video about TikTok tarot readers. Unlike most of these TikTok live people, instead of outright begging people for money, they're providing a service. Whether or not that service is legit, that's a diff that's that's for another time. At least they're providing you with something. I mean, they did tell me I'm pregnant when I'm not pregnant, but I don't think that one person messing up and not being legit is representative of the whole tarot reading community. I don't think it would be fair for me to say that. I think tarot is incredibly interesting, but TikTok tarot readers have kind of shifted the way that people look at tarot currently. Miscellaneous. So there's this one. Do you think I, as a gay, black, trans individual, deserve human rights? By the way, the rose and the lightning, they're not asking you to comment that. They're asking you to send them gifts to see if they deserve rights. Also, this concept is crazy. Do I, a racially ambiguous bisexual neurodivergent person, deserve human rights? Give me money. Um, there's this guy who wants to be possessed by a demon. And by the way, if a creator says they don't want you to send gifts, they're lying. You know, you have the ability to turn off gifts on TikTok. You could do that. TikTok in 2018 was something you were ashamed to say you had downloaded. And I feel like it's come full circle. There's some gems on there. But only some, not th that's all I really have to say. Stop looking at me.